But if she signs a, a, a contract real quick and then the Mercury and the Fever work out some kind of trade to bring her over here right now, then you got your, your backup. You got your backup guard. You got your, your shooter big and sat too. Now you need to get a center. Liz Cambridge. Liz Cambridge, come out of retirement, please, guys. She can do it. She's in her early 30s. She's six foot nine, and she can dunk. She's an enforcer. Guys, go get Liz Cambridge, please. <laughs>your boy Chocolati with the sexy body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolati Plays. Look, look guys, I can admit when I'm wrong. I can admit when I'm wrong, but let me explain because I didn't say that Kelsey Mitchell wasn't signing back with this team. <clears throat> what I said was is that the meeting that they had, the way that they were speaking about the team and not mentioning Mitchell made it just seem kind of weird to me. Now, look, listen to me. From my perspective, my standpoint, whatever interview that people were talking about that Stephanie White had before she had that presser, right, I didn't see it. So I didn't hear her say anything about a core three with Mitchell, Boston, and Kaitlyn. Now, of course, in my eyes, right, I feel that the core three, the big three, it's Mitchell, Boston, and Kaitlyn, of course. Not Lexi. That would be a core four. They need to keep Lexi. And I believe they are because she was at the meeting, right? She was at the press conference. Right now, I believe that those four, right, are the unexpendables. Everybody else is expendable. They can get rid of them. And what I believe they're going to do, right, because this is where I am with the, the Mitchell thing, right? There's a video out. There's a video, and I watched it, and it all but solidified her spot on this team. All she got to do is resign. That's it. It's up to Mitchell. Coaches don't want to move her. She's good with her. She want to bring her back. Guys, they have to. She was an all-star. She was the second leading scorer in the WNBA only behind Asia. She was the second leading scorer. They all got each other better. Kaylin got her better. Now we got a better coach. There's no way we let Mitchell walk. You keep her. Find a way. Find a way. But here's the thing. To ease everybody's mind, right? Because I know people are like, well, why haven't she signed yet? She should sign already. Look, guys, I did some research. And they can't sign until January. So they can't even do any negotiating anything until that time. Now, I had people telling me during the press conference that under all these WNBA statutes and all this other stuff, right, that they can't speak on free agent players. So why was she able to speak on her in a dang one-on-one -on -one interview? See, this is why I said what I said and why I felt weird because of the fact that I didn't see the video that everybody else saw before that presser. I, and then I saw this next one where she actually named the core three or her big three in Mitchell, Kaitlyn, and Boston, where she had finally did that. And I, I heard it for myself. So now I can speak on it on this way, in this perspective. Now, the crazy thing is somebody, like I said, the crazy thing, somebody said, oh, but she can't tell you anything about it. That's why she ain't saying anything about it. But you said something about it in that one-on-one -on -one interview. Now, you see what I mean? That would make that would have somebody who didn't see anything before all of that be like, damn, man, are they trying to get rid of uh, Mitchell? That's all I was saying. But I never just felt like they was going, they, hell no, you cannot get rid of Mitchell right now. If, after everything I told you that she brought to this team, there's no way. Now, there are some people that they're going to be getting up out of here, guys. I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me if any of these people that I'm about to name or are not named because I probably don't know their name. Don't get mad at me because they asses up out of here. I'm sorry, guys. You get to hold on to six. You get to hold on to six. You see, they not speaking about Smith right now and all that stuff that's been going on because nobody asked the coach about it. Nobody asked the coach. She ain't said nothing about any of the other players that they're going to try to keep on here. That means all of them are expendable. And what I believe what she's going to do is with Smith, is not saying anything right now. I would keep her in that six, right? So my six would be uh, Timmy, Smith, Lexi, Caitlin, Boston, and Mitchell, right? And I know you're like, what you keeping? What you keeping Smith for? Let me explain. If I hold on to Smith in the expansion draft, I just can't let nobody just take her from us, right? I don't know exactly how it works, but I, I nobody just can't take her from us. But instead, I could use her as a trade piece. Look. 
Go get Satu Sabali. When I tell you they are going to get Satu Sabali on this team, you just watch. Just watch. And then Steffi Cunningham is going to come next. If they, if, if they don't trade for her or she, don't, or she waits until the next year. But if I'm Steffi, I'm trying to get over there right now. I feel like she signed that one-year contract with the Mercury so she can stay there. Because if she got taken um, in the expansion draft, right, how long would she have to commit to that team, that new team? But if she signs a, a, a contract real quick and then the Mercury and the Fever work out some kind of trade to bring her over here right now, then you got your, your backup. You got your backup guard. You got your, your shooter big and sat too. Now you need to get a center. Liz Cambridge. Liz Cambridge, come out of retirement, please, guys. She can do it. She's in her early 30s. She's six foot nine and she can dunk. She's an enforcer. Guys, go get Liz Cambridge. Please. She's been playing overseas. She will come back. With all of this new money the WNBA is about to get, all the new exposure, the commercials, right? The notoriety, she will come back because that European League is not year-round. It's not year-round. So there is an off-season, and that off-season is during this time when the WNBA is going on. That's why they play in the WNBA, and then in the off-season they go overseas. So Liz, come back. Those are the three people that I want to see come to the FIBA team. Liz Cambridge, Satu Sabali, and Stephanie Cunningham. And that's the Citron person that people keep talking about to book out the draft. You know, I need to look at what's going on in the, in the NCAA right now. Have y'all been watching? Because I heard it's been pretty good. I heard it's been pretty good. I know I said I was going to watch it. But, guys, I got a healthy-ass schedule of things I got to do. i watch it, though. When I get some damn time, i watch it. I'll put it into my priority list. But, guys... Don't crucify me. Don't be mad. I can tell right now that some people, when they see or hear me speak, right, they go right off my words from the beginning. They get so upset. I know so many people was mad at me because I said what I said about Mitchell. But, guys, I didn't mean it. It was an opinion. It's perspective, guys. What do Y'all have to know me by now. Y'all have to know me by now. I come out there and give y'all the hot take, the chocolate blasts, all that shit, the air horn. You know it. You know I'll be going off. And I give y'all hot takes. And there's other people out there who actually has had that same feeling that I had about Mitchell. So don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Just love me like I love y'all guys. And I thank y'all so much, guys. This is my time. This is my time. Um, might get on a little bit later and talk about uh, the football game tonight because I got to give you my pick. Screw it. I just get my pick right now. I am going to go with, drum roll, please. The Ravens. Man, they unveiling some new helmets tonight. Man, you know how you play when you look good? Them damn helmets look good. They finna go out there and kick the Bengals' asses. Watch. Bet your money on the Ravens. They winning tonight. That's my first pick. That's my first pick of this week's hot picks in the NFL. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for the Chocolate Crew. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know if you are done with the live streams. I'm out this thing, guys. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.